Hey guys, I'm back with another video and another Hardcore Warrior. I've been doing a lot of tanking with this tune, so I'll have some dungeon videos for you guys as well, along with this video as a two-handed tank. But in this video, I wanted to show you guys some extremely underrated items for Warriors that you should be picking up if you get the chance. In my list, I chose items that you can either find in the Auction House, West, or Dungeons. None of them are reasonably hard to get. So I wanted to start with the Strike of the Hydra. The two-handed sword drops off the last boss in Black Fathom Deeps, there's a few reasons why I like this sword. Obviously, being a sword, it's good for humans and they're racial. It has good attack speed for two-handed tanking. But most importantly, I like the chance on hit debuff. I don't have an exact proc chance for you guys, but I can promise you it procs pretty much every single mob I hit or every other. Now, it does 7 damage for every 3 seconds, but if you have improved Ren and Deep Wounds, it stacks up with your other dots. Realistically, you could put in about 45 to 50 damage every 3 seconds with this debuff. That's huge. Not to mention it also gives you a 50 reduced armor debuff as well. My next few items are auction house items that you can get for dirt cheap, especially on the horde or the alliance side. I wanted to start with the gauntlets of ogre strength. They come with 3 strength and 16 additional attack power. That's 22 attack power altogether, and you won't find anything better unless you do the Warsong supplies quest for the Horde or the Algae Gloves drop in BFD. I picked these up for 20 silver. Insanely cheap, so I'm assuming it's probably even cheaper on Alliance with the Auction House being way more saturated. I also wanted to mention the Green Iron set, mainly the legs and the shoulders. Both items are craftables, and you should be able to get these insanely cheap and give you your most beneficial stats strength, and stamina. Once again, I was able to pick these up on the horde side for about 30 silver a piece. So combine that with the gloves that I just talked about, you can pick up three upgrades for less than a gold. Totally worth it. The next two items are from quests that are in the same exact area. These are for horde at 1000 needles, more specifically the Grim Totem Spying and the Arnak Grim Totem quests. We have the Grim Toll Wrist Guards and the Plains Guard Leggings. The bracers offer you stat better stats than anything you're going to find outside of the blues in the auction house, and the leggings give you good stamina and strength, a slightly better option than the green iron leggings if you don't want to spend the money. You can also get these items at level 27 or 28 pretty easily. Now it's only fair that I mention some alliance items, and my first go-to is the malleable chain leggings from the Apprentice Duties Quest in Menethil Harbor. All you have to do is get 6 croc skins and you get these bad boys. 7 strength. 3 Agi, 3 Stam, for a bare minimal amount of work. Speaking of minimal effort, I think it's a good idea to bring up the Crusader Belt as well in Alliance Quest. can be awarded from the Syndicate Assassins in South Shore. All you do is head up north, kill some Syndicate, and turn it in. 7 Strength and 6 Stam is a lot of value for a belt that you can technically get at level 26. But I wouldn't do this quest until your 30s, or obviously if you have a duo partner, you can do it way earlier. I also like the Heavy Bronze Mace as an underrated weapon for warriors. Now this weapon is more directed toward human warriors because of the mace ratio, but the reagents aren't too taxing on your bank account if you aren't a blacksmith. It just costs 8 bronze bars, a moss agate, shadow gem, 2 coarse grinding stones, and 2 medium leather. It requires level 20, so this is a great mace to get your dual wield journey started. Not to mention it has 2.8 attack speed, perfect for the main hand. And it gives you additional force strength as well. For the Horde, I also find great value in Bleeding Crescent, a one-handed axe that is good for Orc Warriors and also comes with a Bleeding debuff that stacks with your other bleed damages. To get this axe, you need to do parts of the Swarm for Koran and the Barons. He's the troll sitting by that hut, the same quest as the Scythalid Eggs and Southern Barons. You will need to kill the bugs in the bottom left of Shimmering Flats only requiring level 28, so not too difficult. And again, I don't really see that many people with this axe, so I do suggest grabbing this axe. But there you go, guys. Quite a few warrior items that are lower level that can really help you gear up with very minimal effort or not a lot of gold. Be sure to subscribe.